Welcome back to Tech Made Simple. My name is Colin Black, and today I'm coming at you with another mini series called Will It Survive? Where I will be testing RFID tags in a variety of different tests to see if the RFID tag can survive that test. So today I will be taking a raw RFID inlay or a dry inlay. It's simply just an etched antenna into a PET substrate with a bare die attached and exposed on top. I will take this inlay and dunk it into a cup of water for 60 seconds to see if that has any effect on the tag reading after exposure to the water. So before we cut to the intro, leave a comment below on whether or not you think this tag will survive. to test the tags today we were provided a reader and software by our friends over at gray trunk rfid so if after today's test you have interest in seeing a live demo for yourself on the capabilities of the software click the link down below in the description where you can book your own personal free demo with the team over at gray trunk rfid and they will answer any questions that you may have about the software so without further ado let's get into the testing so I'll start by opening up the Gray Trunk RFID app. I have already paired the reader to the device, but it's a very easy process. So I will go ahead and head over to the start scan function within the app. First and foremost, I do have to select a site. So in this case, I'll just click one of the preloaded sites, which is this Freeman lawn. And I will go ahead and hit start scan. So first we can see That sure enough, this tag does read. It has this long tag ID, which I will refer to as the last four characters, A483. But now, let's go ahead and dunk that RFID tag. We will go ahead and start the timer as soon as I dunk it in. And here we go, three, two, one. And three, two, one, 60 seconds is up. Tag still dripping wet. We will go ahead and shift back over to our Gray Trunk RFID app. And we will start a new scan here. And see, did the tag survive the elements? Boom, right away, as we can see, 60 seconds in a cup of water had absolutely zero effect on this tag from a short range scanning perspective. However, long term exposure to a liquid like this could cause some electrical failure to the tag, which we could potentially do a test on in a future video. But with that, thank you for joining me in this episode of Will It Survive? Leave some comments below on what other destructive tests you want me to test. With that, we'll see you next time.